pendant l'entretien préopératoire. During the preoperative interview, it's essential to inform patients about the possibility that the toric lens may not actually be implanted in the required axis. And that they know that in this case, it is essential to repeat the operation subsequently and put the lens into the right position in relation to the appropriate axis. If patients are informed that this might happen, there's no difficulty in doing it. Of course, you shouldn't wait too long before doing it. Complications may arise during implantation. I'm thinking of a scratch on the surface of the lens if the implant has been mishandled, or a haptic getting stuck in the injector if it was mispositioned within the cartridge. In cases such as these, you should not hesitate to enlarge the incision and withdraw the lens. As the biflex lens is very flexible, it comes back out easily. And you can re-implant another identical lens immediately. Because to achieve good results, it's vital that the lens and the centering are both perfect. Personally, I'm in favor of fitting a capsular tension ring when implanting a toric lens. It enables me to position the implant easily and especially to turn it around more easily within the capsular bag. Without a ring, there's a risk of having difficulty in turning the lens precisely to the degree required. With a capsular tension ring, not only does the lens turn easily, but it also then remains in the desired position. If you overshoot the axis where you wanted to implant the toric lens, don't be afraid to continue rotating it. Turning the lens almost 180 degrees in order to reach the desired position. This is always done in a clockwise direction. I have a very positive impression of the Metacontour's Biflex Toric implant. I know the Biflex platform assets with its specific design. I find this design well suited to a toric version because it's easy to turn the lens within the capsular bag and it remains stable over time with regard to the axis of correction.